This is part three of my budget travel to Tokyo, except for this time we're on a bike. Keep going. Everyone, let's go. I love Japan. They're so organized, so professional. People take their job seriously. And look at how clean their bikes are. This is the attendant that's at the bike rental shop. Very meticulous and very careful as well, making sure we got everything before we take off. Oh, don't lose these keys. Yeah, here we go. Yay! Oh, that is so cool. I like that. That said, I'm still getting used to the great customer service. Oh, so good. All right, here we go. Taking off. And we're just going through the busy streets of Tokyo. In case you haven't noticed, helmets aren't a must here. And the funny thing is, people just kind of find their way around each other on the sidewalk. And Google Maps work really well here, so quite reliable. We found this pretty awesome cafe on Google Maps and we're heading in that direction, but we'll see what we come across in between. Oh, oh, it's a pretty cool shopping mall. It's almost like the parking lot of somewhere. Everything is so organized here. Love it. Whoa, lifelong guarantee for shoes. Did you see that? Wow. Wow. I love the shopping here, but I'm actually not in the shopping spirit this time. Reason's quite simple, it's because I love these motorized bikes. They turn anything into a flatland. Basically, it's pedal assist. It's not that I don't have to pedal, but it just makes everything really easy. It feels like flat grounds no matter where I go. Basically, the motor gives me a boost when I go uphill. Oh, pedestrians get priority. That's what it says. I love that countdown bar. It's like I'm playing video games, but it tells me very clear and precisely when I'm going to cross. This is wonderful. See, people don't even care like about you riding on the sidewalk. And of course, taking selfies when I'm pedaling. Highly not recommended, not the safest thing to do. But this is kind of like in Taiwan, um, the pedestrians and um, the cyclists actually just find their way. So you don't see any special markings, but somehow um, it just works. And people are very nice about it. I also have to be on my best behavior as well. And that said, Japan winters can get quite cold. When I came here, the coldest it got was zero degrees Celsius. <laughs> I don't know if you people noticed, but the pavement is actually really clean in Japan. Um, but there's not enough garbage cans, so people always have a habit of holding garbage for like a long period of time until they find one. And it seems like litter bugs aren't that common here. And of course, all the cars are always clean. <laughs> Why am I not even surprised? Wow, this is the first animal hospital I've seen. And this is the first graveyard that I have seen here in Japan. Interesting how it's not on the ground floor or neither is it like in the suburbs. Hmm. You see the sun is out, but it's still quite cold for me anyway. Coming from Hong Kong, this would never be possible to have a kid's scooter by the sidewalk. Um, but somehow it works in Japan, huh? Never lose this key. If you ever lose this key, it's the end of the world. And I'm not even kidding. Alrighty, let's get some coffee. You know how small the coffee shop is? Actually, everything is small. Paper cup is small. My cup of coffee is small. This is like a short. And even the sugar scoop and the sugar is small. Not to mention the shop is tiny. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's how big it is. I guess in Tokyo, space is also lacking for a lot of the real estate. So this is the place that we're supposed to go to, but it turned out it's more like a forest. I can't read Japanese, huh? 
Okay, well, let's see what I can pick out of the menu. Ah, here it is. What, they got some flowery pizza and drinks. What does that mean? exactly what we got. Flower pizza. Underwhelming. Why? It turned out this is actually a flower shop with a little cafe. So I guess food is not their specialty. It's actually flowers. That's our table there, by the way, in the corner. But if you want flower and essence, you're at the right place. But anyway, it doesn't matter. That's the fun part about traveling after all, right? You run into things that you don't expect and you just enjoy that process. In front of me, the guy in the yellow jacket, that's Chalash from Turkey. Met him from my hostel and we're still friends to this day. Super cool dude. Okay, we finally made it back to the hostel after riding for half a day. And I must say, I gotta do this again. This is so fun. But I think he's taking off in a couple days. So I'll either go with him again or I'll do it again myself. Let's see how it goes. Just finding the way back to return the bike and call it kind of the end of my day. But before that, I need to get some more food. I'm still hungry, actually. Here we go. Easy peasy. The instructions are clear. Perfect. This is typical Japan. Even the bills are super straight. Ah, waiting for my number. Great. Condiments, so clean. And this is just a fast food joint. Complete instructions. They love instructions. This machine looks like it's perfectly new. That's what everything looked like. Support my channel. If you like my content and want to keep my channel alive, all the information's in the description. Thanks, guys. For $6 US, this is actually pretty good. Yeah, pork based vegetable soup. One of my favorite half assed cooked eggs. Potato salad. And the kimchi soup that goes with your rice. Wow. This is actually really cheap. Huh. The night before, this was when I met everybody in the hostel lobby, and that's where I met Chalaj, and they found out that it was my birthday, and this happened. Okay. <laughs> happy birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> Pretty cool. Acquaintances singing happy birthday in different languages. Thanks, everyone. Oh, no. I see what's next. The details.